Hi, this is James Sedley. Welcome back to the Living in Naples channel uh, and welcome to this month's regular monthly update on the latest stats and trends from the real estate market in Naples and Marco Island. As always, if you have any questions or if you know someone who might benefit from this information, please do like, share and subscribe and feel free to reach out to me anytime directly and I'd be happy to work with you. With that, let's dive right into the numbers. Uh, in Naples, there are currently 2,578 homes for sale, which is down 89 from July 1st. The median list price of those homes is $799,000, which is down just over $32,000 since last month's update. Uh, and at $437 per square foot, that number is also down, uh, in this case, by $11 per square foot. Those homes have been on the market uh, a median of 85 cumulative days, which is up nine days since last month's update. Uh, as we turn to Marco, uh, there are 398 homes currently available on the market, which is down 18 from July's update. Uh, median listing price of those homes is $1,262,500, which is an increase of $40,000 since last month. Uh, but at $783 per square foot, that's actually a decrease of $3 per square foot since my July update. Uh, those Marco homes have been on the market a median of 105 cumulative days, which is up 13 days since last month. As we turn to the sales during the month of July in Naples, there were 571 sales last month, which was down 232 from uh, my prior update. Uh, in Marco, there were 50 sales, which was down 17 from last month's update. In Naples, among those 571 sales, the median selling price was $610,000, which was unchanged month over month. But at $339 per square foot, uh, that was a decline of $10 per square foot. A manufactured home in Enchanting Acres once again proved to be the lowest price sale in Naples, uh, which and that went for $102,000. At the other end of the pricing spectrum, a waterfront uh, new construction home in Aqualane Shores topped the list, selling for $15 million. On Marco, the median selling price of $1.305 million was up $330,000 since last month, while the dollar per square foot also increased, in this case, uh, jumping $74 to $684 per square foot. The least expensive sale on Marco was an efficiency in Seabreeze West, which sold for $210,000. And the most expensive was a 9,000 plus uh, square foot mansion on Roberts Bay that sold for $10.9 million. As we look at just the single family home market in Naples, there were 307 such sales in July, which is down 93 from June. Uh, they're at $770,000 uh, as the median selling price of those homes. That was down just under $30,000 month over month. As we turn to Marco, there were 28 uh, single family home sales during the month of July, which was down nine from last month. And the median selling price of those homes was $2,047,500, which was up almost $550,000 month over month. Again, feel free to reach out with questions uh, if you'd like the information on specific areas uh, or want to talk about real estate in, the, in Southwest Florida in general. I'm here anytime for you, so please do reach out. Uh, until then, thank you again for liking, subscribing, and sharing, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next episode.